Myasthenic crisis, that is a very interesting point because historically we've been managing myasthenic crisis with IVAG or with Plex, depending on what is more available in a single center and what are the patient's comorbidities. The problem is that now, since we have new therapies available, we have anti-FCRNs, we have complement inhibitors, there are more and more case reports coming out with patients that have been treated successfully with one of these two innovative treatments. So it is very early to you know, recommend that in guidelines. So just treat crisis with these treatments here. But what I can say is that based on these reports, as soon as a patient is not responding to Plex or IVIG, we should propose these treatments straight away for patients. Because you know, if a patient is not responding to IVIG, instead of going to Plex, you might be able to try Eculizumab or Fcartigumab or even one of the even newer drugs without testing both of them and, and losing time. Because in many of our patients, it is mandatory to get them uh, feel better and have better motor signs as soon as possible, as many of them during an MG crisis might die because of respiratory failure or swallowing problems.